morning year 11. I'm going to read the following text out on your PowerPoint. See if you can underline or highlight any language or structural techniques that you can see. The moon shone over the abandoned playground. Mr. Nervy peeked around the corner of the climbing frame. His heart was racing like a cheetah. What if they came now? He gazed up at the moon and stars, praying for the courage to move. He could see them approaching, one small and slight, the other large and lumbering, both appealing and terrifying at the same time. He gazed up. It was now or never. Hey, he shouted. Miss Pretty looked up from her colossal sheepdog and smiled with a warmth only seen in the fire. Hey yourself. I'm now going to read the second piece of text. Again, see if you can see any language or structural features and underline or highlight them. Miss Pretty sat alone crying. The tears were a river running down her face. She could not believe she had missed her ride home. She gazed out the window of the bare grey building, the war-torn scenery looking back at her. Being on assignment here was not easy. Hey, how come you never told me the side of the job? She asked the man next to her. His name tag blew in the breeze. Mr R. E. Porter had convinced her to leave her beautiful home, her lovely man and her brute of a dog to come here to report on the latest troubles. Being on assignment here was not easy at all. No to do with me, he smirked back. Outside, the last of the figurines were packed away and the war game conference was over. <laughs>